Welcome to Frank Bruno Law. I am Frank Bruno. I'm an elder law and estate planning attorney in Queens, New York. Today is part three of my series on trusts. And if you have any questions on trusts or want to reach me, please go to callfrankbruno.com. Trusts. Today we're going to detour into the world of special needs trusts. There are two broad categories, pooled special needs trusts, which are uh, run by charitable organizations and private special needs trusts. SNTs can also be called supplemental needs trusts. This is uh, when a person uh, either classified as disabled or with special needs uh, either presently has or seeks to obtain government benefits such as supplemental security income, Medicaid, food stamps, um, house, shelter allowances, housing. Um, those government programs have strict resource limits. And what a person needs to do is, if they have large assets in their name, um, they need to put open up a special needs trust, put the assets into the special needs trust, either continue with their government benefits or apply for government benefits, and then use the assets within the special needs trust to supplement, not supplant basic necessities. The money within the special needs trust cannot pay for food or shelter, but it can pay for things like vacation, um, education, um, certain um, medical needs that aren't covered by insurance. Uh, and at the Upon the, the uh, applicant's death, there is a recovery by the government up to the amount of the asset that's within the special needs trust. So if you have any questions on special needs trusts or the area of elder law, please reach out to me. Call frankbruno.com. Thank you.